this is Dave from Bullpen Cycles. This is a Bomoda Mantra. Also known as their DB2. Nope, DB3, sorry. D for Ducati, that's the engine. It's a 900 uh, two valve air cooled motor. Uh, B for Bomoda and three, it's their third model with the Ducati engine. They always do their nomenclature that way. Like a YB6 would be a Yamaha Bomoda, whatever. Uh, this one has been sitting in my shop for more than 10 years. Bomoda is an Italian aluminum manufacturer. I think they make airplane subframes and other stuff for aerospace. And they decided to uh, build these motorcycle chassis and they make them with other companies' motors in them. This, I got this, uh, what mostly sold me was the fake walnut, well actually it's probably real walnut dashboard. And of course, what motorcycle isn't complete without a functioning glove box. Uh, this one sports about 7,000 miles, but it's been sitting a long time. So I've got to do a car job. Obviously the clutch master cylinder and slave cylinder are leaking. So I'm going to have to do the brakes. Uh, the tricky part is going to be to get this gas tank off. See, it's one piece uh, with a headlight here. From what I understand is you take the handlebars and lift it front and off. Uh, it comes with a Paoli shock that's blown. I'm gonna have to replace that. And of course, being this Ducati motor, it's gonna need belts and valves. What's weird about this is there's two batteries, two six volt batteries, one on each side. So in order to replace those, you still got to pull the freaking tank. Some people rewire it with the lithium battery in the tail. I'm not, I keep this original, but anyway. Okay, so we're almost done with this Bomoda. By way of background, we did belts, carbs, batteries. There's two of them. We bled the brakes, replaced the clutch seal probably some other stuff. The rear shock, a payola unit is blown. So we got this nitron unit out of England. This is the nitron R1. It's a direct replacement uh, for this model, Bomoda. Runs about 700 US dollars plus shipping. Of course, a year ago it would have been cheaper. The exchange rate was much better. We're gonna get that on there. It's packaged really nicely. Then after we're done, we'll take this for a ride and uh, give you some feedback. Bomoda makes airplane components. Look at those nice welds and this nice aluminum frame. Cute little billet caps. Well, let's see how she comes apart. All right, so we contacted the manufacturer, Nitron, about their shock absorbers. They sent us replacement bearings. We knocked the old ones out. And you'll notice a couple of things. Not only were they the wrong diameter, but they also mismatched the thickness. I've got different sets here. Not a complete set of four. I have three of one and one of the other. But they were very nice. They immediately took care of their error. And within three business days from the UK, 
I have replacement bearings. Let's hope they're okay. We have to press these bearings in. Might be able to press them in by hand. Once I get the O-rings in place. Well, I might have to put them in the vise. They're in. So let's see if it fits in the shackle. on the frame. This is a smidgen too tight. It doesn't want to go and slide in. And I'm not sure why. I'm going to have to figure that one out without forcing it. All right, I got the top one in that was tight. Here's how I did it. I put the old one back in and found that it only slid in kind of one direction. The direction that it's at now, probably because that's where the wear is in the shackle. Then I can get the top one going. So we're going to put the bolt in. I would not have thought that this would have been a production. Put that in to hold it. Bottom one in. And play with this height a little bit. All right, well, they're lined up. Battle is won. Well, now all we have to do is button it up and go for a test ride. Okay folks, we're getting ready to take this mode of Mancha for a shakedown ride. And I'll give you some first impressions. Uh, we did, uh, as a reminder, we did belts, two batteries, carbs, oil, and we replaced the rear shock, probably some other stuff. This uh, model has an optional high windshield, which is kind of dumb because it interferes right there. Uh, got our glove box. I don't have a pair of gloves to put in there. I guess I have to put my mask in there now, given this day and age. Ha uh ha. -huh. Uh, the mirrors are not stock, but I do have the stock ones along with the books. And uh, let's start up and see uh, what she rides like. I get a little bit of back brake now. You 
think it still could be better. I have to look at the brake caliper. We'll go carefully down the stones here. And we're off. I love the pull of the air-cooled Ducati. You've heard me say it before. You got a 9,000 red line on an air-cooled V-twin. If that was a Sportster, it would have blown up. That's seven grand. Now, unfortunately, on this windy road, I can't open it up all that I want. Very, very light bike. Very easy to flick around. Very comfortable. It's ugly. And it's especially ugly in yellow. But after a while, it grows on you. Now this windshield, thankfully it's not too big because it's aimed right at my face, which I don't like because it directs the air right inside your helmet. I'm running an open face dirt bike helmet. But at least it's not so big that the air rush is overwhelming. You don't expect it to protect you from the rain, but hey, that's not the point. Well, I don't have to answer my turn signal. got a little bit of rear brake. I don't think it's quite right yet. We'll try bleeding it some more, but I don't think that's the problem. Here you can hear it at idle. Kind of a lopy idle, that's good. There it is at 900 to 1000 RPM, just perfect. Carburetor set up on a Kajiva era Ducati 900. Now I have a 900 SS, a CR, and an M900 Monster. But I don't like riding them as much as I like riding this. Performance wise, we'll post the specs up on the video. I don't have them on the top of my head. Yeah, probably not here either. You don't want to go flying around a corner on these country roads. You'll end up right in the back of a tractor. Hopefully not of a newer spreader. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. I gotta slow it down a little. Still in fifth. Run, nine. 
on ethanol, which I can usually get at Wawa, or down at in Florida near our shop, all the marinas have high octane non-ethanol fuel.